All right, boys, welcome back to another video. Nick's Daily here. Today, we're going to be talking about the Knicks being in on a Marcus Smart trade. Quote, the Knicks have had internal discussions about a potential deal for Marcus Smart, end quote. So the first thing we want to talk about is what would we have to give up? Because to me, would I trade Mitchell Robinson and Cameron Payne for Marcus Smart? I absolutely would. And I'd imagine the majority of you guys would as well. I mean, Mitch can't stay healthy. Cameron Payne is on a you know, vet's minimum contract. He's okay, right? I'd actually prefer Landry Shamit over Payne. I'll get into Shamit a little bit later. So yeah, I would trade Payne. I mean, we don't really need him. We've got McBride. We've got Tyler Kolek. Certainly, we've got Jalen Brunson. So if, it just doesn't really matter that much to me. But we actually financially can't do that because we would be $4 million short. The thing for the Knicks, yes, this is the best roster that I have seen in my lifetime on paper, but we don't have a lot of stability financially. So if we were to make a trade for a guy like Marcus Smart, we would have to send more money than we're getting, right? So no longer can the Knicks make a move and they're sending less than they're getting. So no, we can't trade Mitch and Payne. Are we going to trade Miles McBride? To me, that doesn't make sense, right? Why would you take a step backwards just to take a step forward, right? Yes, Marcus Smart, in my opinion, is a better basketball player than Miles McBride, but McBride's young. I mean, what is he, 23 years old? He's just getting started. He's not even hit his 24 years old. Okay, so he's very young still. And then a guy like Marcus Smart's 30 years old. So again, you're getting a veteran player, a guy that helped the Celtics get to three conference finals, even helped them get to a championship. But we're getting worse technically, right? Because we're losing McBride. So that means that we would have to have a three-team trade, just like when we got Cat. And to me, I am all for that, right? As long as we don't give up anyone in our rotation, especially our six men, because right now, guys, Miles McBride is our six man. So we're basically trading McBride, you know, and Mitch to make the salary work for Smart. And I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I think McBride is only going to get better. He's a fantastic three point shooter. He's a fantastic defender. And he just has that toughness, that physicality that we need off of the bench right now, because we don't just want defense in our starting five. We want defense off of our bench. And that's also another thing that's a huge reason why I want Marcus Smart. Cameron Payne and Tyler Kulik defensively aren't giving us much. And then if we could have McBride and Smart coming off our bench, that would just be ridiculous. I mean, we'd have those guys, Josh Hart, OG Ananobi, Mikel Bridges. There's just defense everywhere. And then we've got Kat, who's actually a very good rim protector, underrated defender. I mean, guys, we have to go out there and get Marcus Smart. To me, he would be the absolute cherry on top. Kat and Bridges were fantastic trades. Certainly Smart isn't on the level of those guys. But this, to me, just screams, we want all the smoke. We're coming right at the Boston Celtics. We now have a good shooter, a good defender, a guy who played with those players. He played in Boston, so that's going to give us a huge advantage. And if you look at what Smart did with the Grizzlies, he only played, in, I believe, like 20 games. He, he was injured the entire year. But he averaged 14 and a half points, 2.7 rebounds, 4.3 assists, and shot 43% from the field. I mean, those are very good numbers for a defensive specialist, one of the best defenders in the league, a guy that is capable of making all NBA first team every single season. This would be a great trade for the Knicks. I also like how Smart can play both point and shooting guard. So he can play multiple positions. Because if you look at our roster right now, OG can play the two, the three, and the four. Josh Hart can play the three, the four, and the five. Cat can play the four and the five. Brunson is, in my opinion, a shooting guard playing point guard. Mikel Bridges certainly can play three positions. So we just have guys all over the place that can play different positions. Miles McBride, I would say it's a two guard. He can play the one. So just having overall versatility is going to be massive just because it gives you an advantage. But also if there's injuries, right? So for example, uh, Jalen Brunson goes down. Okay, we'll start Marcus Smart at the one. Oh, Mikel Bridges goes down. Marcus Smart, go start at the two next to Jalen Brunson. That would be a lot of fun, right? We also want to keep McBride. So that way we just have as much talent as possible if we're gonna go make a trade for example Mikel Bridges we didn't give up anyone in our rotation we gave up draft picks we don't have draft picks now uh, for Cat we gave up Randall who we had no idea what he was gonna look like coming off of the injury he had one year left in his deal so maybe he just left the Knicks Dante DiVincenzo was a tough guy to get rid of but we got one of the top I would say 20 players in the game and Cat the best shooting big in NBA history from behind the three-point line good rim protector best years with tips right so you can see we're making trades and we're just getting better without having to give up all that much. Yeah, Randall and Debo were, were two very good players, players that I like. They embodied being a Nick. 
But that was more so of like kind of an outlier, right? We don't really see trades in the NBA where, especially this late, I mean, we're in October where you, the team is just you know, all NBA player for an all NBA player. But the Mikel Bridges trade is exactly what I wanted coming to the offseason. He was number one on my list. And that was because we only gave up draft capital. We gave up, was it five first round picks? But I'd rather give up five first than I would give up Miles McBride and less draft picks, right? We want to have the best roster possible. And that's why adding in Marcus Smart would make us a better team. Even if we do have to give up Miles McBride, Marcus Smart is a better player and he gets us closer to winning a championship. But I personally just don't think we should be doing that. I mean, again, guys, why would we trade one of the best role players in basketball to go get an even better role player? It just doesn't really make much sense, right? So I, I personally, yes, Mitchell Robinson, Cameron Payne, and then get a third team involved so that way we can make the salary work. We probably would have to give up some draft picks. Maybe we have, well, uh, Piston, or actually we traded that. So I forget who, which team it is. I'm Nick Staley, I don't even know. But um, Pistons, we gave that up. It was top 13 protected. The other pick is, it's a bad team, so it's probably not going to, convey but regardless maybe it's second round picks maybe it's that protected pick but if we can somehow put that in to make this work i would do it could you imagine this being a rotation when fully healthy jalen brunson nikel bridges og Ananobi, josh hart carl Anthony towns off of the bench miles mcbride and then we would have marcus smart press Zachua, jericho sims tyler kolek landry shamit and then Kevin McCuller Jr., probably. I mean, maybe we go with another guy in a, a two-way, but uh, personally, that's probably going to be it. And oh, and also, of course, going out there and getting the legend himself, TJ Warren. We can't forget about him. And Dwight Howard, right? Dwight Howard, guys. No, I'm kidding. That's not going to happen. But that, that's a very good team. It just blows my mind how many people think that we can't beat Boston. And I'm talking about non-Knicks fans because I can pretty much promise you 99% of the people listening to me right now believe we can beat Boston, right? There will be the 1%, uh, the one guy in the comments that says, hey, we can't beat Boston, but as a Knicks fan, which is fine, it's your opinion, but we're built to beat Boston. Perimeter defenders shooting, going out and getting cat. We have a stretch big. We've got the best player in Jalen Brunson. We certainly have Tibbs, who is one of the better coaches, who is put us in a chance to even get to the conference finals last year game seven against indiana missing half of our team right no randall wasn't out there boyan was hurt mitch was hurt i mean guys everyone was hurt and we were there we were guys with a chance legit chance to beat indiana in game seven of course it got away from us but uh, other than that i mean smart he's going to be counting 20.2 million against the cap this season and 21.5 million in 2025 26 so that's a lot of change. That, that's a big chunk of change, especially for a guy coming off of the bench. But we know how important role players are to winning a championship. And certainly, guys, I guess Smart helps us get closer to winning a championship, right? Any move we can make that gets us closer to winning a championship, I'm all in for it. Because let's be real here. Even if the Knicks set themselves up for an absolute disaster for the future, if we win the championship this year, no Knicks fan, I can promise you, is going to care, right? Would you guys rather have the next five years we don't win a championship? and we're right there or we win a championship this year and then the next you know three four years are absolute trash right like we missed the play like yes give me the championship give me the championship give me the championship certainly we'd like to win the championship and compete for more championships but if we make some of these moves and we get it done that's all that matters man that's all that matters because it's not even just 1973 but it's more so of it's so hard to win a championship and if you have a chance to do it you've got to take it man you've just got to take it guys Oh my God, I'm drooling right now just thinking about it. I'm obsessed. I want one. I want a championship, man. I haven't seen, I've been alive, man. I haven't seen the Knicks win a championship in my lifetime. I'm 25. All right. Sorry. Bye.